Welcome back everybody. Today I want to show you how to make a delicious pizza on the Blackstone griddle. I have the Blackstone 36 inch, two burners off, two on low, but I have four burners. I can do that. I can move things around, go up to high. I can turn three burners off and leave one on. You have to know your griddle. If you have a 17 inch griddle, that's one burner. You're either all the way up in the middle or all the way down. First things first, I have some extra virgin olive oil and I'm gonna put down whole cloves of garlic. We are going to roast some garlic today. Move that around, make sure the olive oil starts to get in to the garlic cloves and I'll keep an eye on that garlic as we move through the recipe. Next, Italian sausage. I found this sausage from a local sausage manufacturer. Very good stuff. They make it in Denver. It's in the casing so you just slice it lengthwise like that then you should be able to pull the sausage out of the casing. A little more extra virgin olive oil and straight down with that ground Italian sausage. Blackstone Griddle Mortar, if you came out to visit me on the road this year, a shout out to you. These are the free hats we're giving out in 2023. This recipe is actually based on a pizza that I made on the griddle in Logan, Utah at the corporate headquarters two years ago. I'll insert some photos here. We had a competition between all the Blackstone griddle pros at that time. It's a big secret, but actually CJ won the competition. They ended up never airing the footage. So the world didn't know that CJ was the winner, but this is my pizza right here. And I'd like to think that I should have won. I think it was rigged, CJ. The bottom line, it's simple, Todd. I was robbed. The world will never know what I cooked take the W, but we know. The sausage is about halfway done. I'm gonna put a little more olive oil on the griddle top. And today we're also gonna have red onion and red bell pepper as toppings. I don't want these completely raw on the pizza, but I do need them to be uh, cooked up a little bit since we don't have a pizza oven. So we're gonna put them down in the oil and we'll let these things start to soften up, get a little bit of color on them for just a couple of minutes. Garlic is looking good. I'm just gonna move that around and wait until it gets nice and soft. Now, like I said earlier, I don't wanna cook these uh, onions and peppers into oblivion, but I want them to be softened up just a little bit. We'll go ahead and pull these, put them on our cutting board so we can use them when we prep up our pizza here in a few minutes. Sausage looking really nice. I'm gonna grab a piece here. Mmm, perfect blend of red pepper, spices, and fennel. You have to have fennel in Italian sausage, oh man. Sausage looks and tastes amazing. We're gonna pull that, put it up here on my cutting board. Garlic, exceptional. I think we'll go ahead and pull that as well. Simple stuff on the griddle top, so I don't need to scrape it. Just gonna wipe it down, clean it up a little bit, and get all those crumbs back there into the grease cup. Prefer to use my bare hands, but I am assuming the responsibility. We have a super hot griddle top here, so you might wanna use a pair of protective gloves. And I think I'm gonna leave the griddle top right where it is, low, off, off, and low. I can always go up or down as needed. Walmart's newest addition in the Blackstone Pizza line, this pizza peel, this comes in a kit with a little pizza rocker, has a little sheath on there, and a pizza disc as well. And I'm gonna use these pizza crust. I used to use these back in the day, but it's been a couple of years. They're pre-cooked, right? But we're gonna put a little bit of olive oil down on the griddle top and just gonna make sure that both sides get a little bit of color. Give that a quick flip. There's good color on there, so let's pull that and put it on my pizza peel. Now we'll go ahead and make up our pizza. Pick this up at the grocery store. I don't know if it's good or not, but we're gonna find out today. Use my spoon and spread that out. I learned through trial and error that you always wanna use less sauce than you think. 
you want to use. This is Tillamook farm style cut cheese, mozzarella, and I put just a teeny bit, a tiny bit of cheddar in there as well. Because as I was looking back at the pictures of my original version of this, there was a little bit of orange. I think it was just the way the pizza cooked that day, but I like those accents. Just a little bit different color cheese. So you can see it's primarily mozzarella. Next we go down with the ground Italian sausage. Mm -mm -mm. Onions and peppers. Oh yeah, see the color contrast. Contrast. Then we have those roasted garlic cloves. I'm just gonna crush these up with a knife so we can get the skin off easily. Chop that up a little bit. And down on the pizza. And some basil leaves. If you're going into the pizza oven, you probably wanna do these afterwards, but we are putting this on the griddle top so we can put our basil on right now. Last but not least, I always like to sprinkle a little more cheese on top to hold the ingredients together. Then grab the pizza spice of your choice, which is gonna have a combination of basil, oregano, thyme, maybe some garlic as well, down onto my griddle top. If you want to, you can crank the burners up a little bit high, whatever works for you, and feel free to use a little bit of water. Put a little bit of water back in the edges of your griddle top, close that hood, that'll help that cheese to melt. It's been about two minutes Minutes. Let's check out the pizza. Cheese melting. So let's look at the bottom. Oh yeah, look at that. Gorgeous color. So see, I was able to control the heat. That's the beauty of having four burners. Maybe I'll give it one more hit of the water just to finish off the cheese. We'll see if that cheese is a little bit better. Gorgeous. Look at the color on the bottom of that pizza, by the way. Let's slide that onto my cutting board. Take a look at that. Let's test out that brand new Blackstone Pizza Rocker. That is a beautiful looking pizza. And I made it on the Blackstone griddle. Are you kidding me? Look at that. Cheese. I'm also kicking it old school today with my vintage Griddlemore Tormod. I have to cleanse my palate. Let's go in. Let's grab a piece of pizza. Oh, 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 oh my goodness. I'll stop. Let's give it a try. If I didn't tell you that I made that on top of the Blackstone Griddle, you would never believe me. Granted, it wasn't homemade fresh pizza dough, but it doesn't always have to be. I'm not a pizziolo, or whatever the term is they use for the professional pizza makers. I'm just a guy that likes good food. And you can see me making pizzas in the Blackstone pizza oven, in the new Walmart version of the pizza oven, in the 22 inch pizza oven, or of course, like we did today on the Blackstone Griddle. So thanks for watching everybody. I sure do appreciate it. Make sure you check out all of our shows on the Blackstone Network because it's expanding all the time. We have hosts all the way from Atlantic to Pacific. And until next time, this is Todd. I'm saying praise the Lord and pass the pizza.